I've been looking for a good option for USB storage for Tesla Cam, and I came across this one in the Dash Cam forums. So this is a Transcend High Endurance Micro SD card. It's optimized for Dash Cam or Security Cam use, which means write cycles. And that's what kills flash drives, is writing to them continuously over and over and over again. And that's exactly what a dash cam does, and that's exactly what Tesla cam does, to the tune of about two gigabytes per hour. So this flash drive is particularly good because it uses MLC memory, which is as opposed to the TLC memory that's in most flash drives. It's just a different way of storing information, and MLC is a lot more durable. It has a very wide temperature range that it can operate within. I think it's down to minus 25 degrees C and up to 85 degrees C. One downside to it is it's kind of slow compared to some, but it's fast enough for what we need and that's all that really matters. So I'm gonna put this in one of these Rocket Tech micro SD to USB adapters. See it has a little slot micro SD card goes into and now you have a tiny little durable flash drive. So we'll pop this in the computer and I'll get it ready for Tesla Cam. So we're gonna prep this drive in Windows 10. So if we go down to Windows Explorer, we'll navigate to the drive. For me, it's the D drive right now. You can see it's all pretty much ready to go as far as Windows is concerned. But if it was not formatted, you want to right click on it and choose format. So you can see we have about 29 gigabytes of formatted capacity and we're already in FAT32. And that's a nice thing that about these flash drives is they come already formatted in FAT32. As opposed to the other options here, you can just leave this as the default, quick format and hit start and OK, and then it's complete. And then back to Windows Explorer. Back to the drive, and we just need to make a new folder and call it Tesla Cam. And that's it. So we just need to eject the drive here and go plug it into the car. So I hope this is helpful to someone. I'll post a link in the description to the micro SD and card reader that I'm using. And if you like these videos, like and subscribe and leave your video request in the comments.